Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age The Veil Guard. I keep wanting to say Inquisition. I'll get there one day. I am so tired and I shouldn't be drinking a soda this late at night, but I'm drinking a soda this late at night because I desperately want to get to Lusanas, who my sister spilled the beans, that he's the next one after Ballara. At least I think I think that's how she was saying it. So I'm like, ugh. I want to see because I want to hear his voice in person, you know, digitally in person. I didn't listen to the podcast because the podcast drove me, it was too, like, I don't know, I think only ASMR people would like it because, like, there was, like, all the chewing noises and, like, nah, 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 and like, the main girl was annoying and I just couldn't do it. Anyway, I will persevere. Um, also, also, almost about to take my makeup off and then my sister out here was, like, she was, like, oh my gosh, you look so great, blah, blah, blah. I was, like, okay, fine. I'm, the only makeup I'm wearing is the red stuff, but still. Uh, okay, we are we're good. We're doing this. Okay. I am really I'm enjoying the combat very much. Air air ballista? Is that a ballista? Is that a fiery thing? I wish I could like look at things because we don't have the tactics mode anymore. You can't like look ahead and see what an object is, like we used to be able to, which is a little annoying, honestly. Please don't tell me we're going to try to get in via exploding something. I think that's kind of the thing that bothers me sometimes, too, about the, like, exploratory, like, you know, sort of quirky scientist types like she apparently is. And it's like, oh, she's really good at, like, integrating with things and also blowing them up. I'm, like, blowing up priceless artifacts, you know what I mean? Like, full of things we could have learned, except she got quirky about it. She's not as bad, though. Let's, I'll be honest. Ballara is not as bad as I thought she'd be so far, so... Why am I aiming a ballista? The taking damage will knock you off. You're actually gonna make me blow up a wall? We could just climb over it, you know what I mean? More dark spawn, right where you broke that wall. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, they are explosive. Dude, how'd you get up there, little monkey? Ooh, sorry, companion. They do a decent amount of damage. My companions do. But I'm doing, like insane amounts of damage, like 2,000 damage. I'm like, holy cow. I think I smeared my uh, face paint a little somewhere along the way. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Aha! I thought I saw one glowing back there, but I wasn't sure. I really love the lamp design they've got. I think they're pushing it a little bit. Dual Wield Studio, who does, um, keep pressing my button, um, they do officially licensed merchandise for my favorite author, Tamora Pierce. Um, they have these, like, little lamps. This music sound, for a brief second, sounded kind of like trespasser music for a second briefly listen i oh cool wait hang on okay so if i do a running attack she does like a spin that's so cool oh my gosh and another resonance amplifier should be oh. the last one this is blight me too this is definitely blight this is definitely not something that belongs here doesn't look like how Blight usually looks. And I know why, because I freaking got it spoiled for me by the developers themselves. And a Nubian. I don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Little guy, look... There's blight in Arlathan. No, this is like a mythical place, like Arlathan Forest, right? Not just not, not like the mythical sort of like we aren't 100 percent sure where Arlathan actually is type thing. Um, except we're finding bits and pieces of it now, kind of. But Arlathan, I mean Arlathan, the Empire stretched 
Real quick, uh, during editing, I was playing this game, I'm pretty far ahead, and I was reminded that Arlathan is in fact not the name of the empire and the city. Elvenon is the name, it means places where people uh, in Elvish and in Elven, and that is the name of the empire. Arlathan is merely the name of the city, but I'll figure that out much later. But yeah, no, I think there's something to do with um, the dagger in the future. Sorry, I got distracted again. I did it, I said to do it. Oh, um, at some point in the future when we get the dagger, oh, I blocked it though. Oh, okay, I, did, I was too late on the block. Oh, so I think there's some, yes, okay, some that are unblockable attacks. The last bear is down. We're close. I'm trying to do the... The catch and release on my shield, you know. I, by the way, I am really loving. I when I saw the the warrior gameplay trailer, it was the only one I watched because I was really excited for it. And we get to do the Captain America like shield roll. I don't even think of it as the Captain America one. Honestly, I think of it as the Hades shield throw. Um, and I was like, ooh, I was so excited to be able to do that. Um, so I'm totally down for using the shield more. Um, but I cannot believe there's play here, and that we're not like taking damage from it. It's kind of the same issue that Red Larry had in Inquisition, where like they're like, ooh, just being near it makes you, Have you know, you unhealthy. something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. I mean, what did it make a noise? Oh, it makes this... It makes a squishy noise. I hate that. It's just kind of... It's not... It's just kind of on the walls and stuff. You know? As far as I can tell. No. That's breakable over there. Oh, here's something. When will I get to spend any gold? Hmm? But yes, the dagger should help us to traverse the areas without the need to bring every companion with us. We can, like, utilize their abilities. The stench of decay fills the air. The Evanure is now willpower beyond anything I've ever seen. Their magic is fueled by corruption and death and creeps even now into the stones. We cannot outlast this siege. Okay, I was thinking these ones, these darker ones, or maybe like the newer one, at least according to the lighthouse, it seemed like we have like somebody who's, maybe it was like right after Solus went into the sleep and they were looking for him, and I think it's Felison. Um, but... Maybe it's not a more, like, a newer one, it's an older one from when he, like, somebody was looking for Solus. But this is from the actual siege itself. Mm -mm -mm. If I don't find every single one of these, I'll lose it. Ooh, there's a thing over there. Oh? No, wrong button. Bash, we still have Bash. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep, yep, yep. Are they kind of moving? But then if this is the fade, then the, their blight being here is wild. If that building's what I think it is, then the alignment means... Yeah? We're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. We're still in our Where Where what was kept? The Archive Spirit, mm -hmm. or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. I named my character, my warden, Durthara. The given last name was Serana, but I picked Durthara because essentially it means the curse of knowledge it like it was it was essentially a curse where it was like that you will know every does this this armor has toes does this armor have toes hang on i'm totally distracted by the fact that i i'm totally distracted <laughs> this armor has metal toes it's not just my my feet seeds sticking out why have we decided that elves don't want to wear shoes and why have you decided that if they wore anything, they would be toe shoes? 
Why have we done this? Every day we stray further from God's light. <laughs> Why? But, oh my god, we get to the heart. It's the curse, like, to know everything and be burdened by it, essentially, or some, something like that. I'm butchering it a bit. But I picked it because I figured that she was born to Dalish parents who, um, the Dalish don't have, like, a complete grasp of, like, even their own language, right, anymore, right? Like, the ancient, uh, the, the elven language, they only have bits and pieces of it, like, what they've, what they've managed to keep together in, like, little scraps from pieces of papers and maps and whatnot. Um, and so, to me, it was, it was, it was supposed to be that they thought was, like, you know, Durthar was, like, oh, yeah, the gift of knowledge, you know, the gift of knowing. And it turns out it was actually a curse. And this is how it was, actually, like, when I, when I found it on, like, a wiki, like, the Dragon, like, a Dragon Age wiki, um, I don't remember where the source was, honestly, like, for where Durthar came from. Um, but it's tied to Dirtha Men, right? Who's, like, the god, the god of secrets. Um, let me make sure, you know, Dirtha Men's the god of secrets, because he's who my, um, my second inquisitor was bound to. Secrets of knowledge, yes, okay. So, like, Dirtha Men, um... Yeah, so the, the name Durthara and not Durth, like Durth itself is like, comes from his name or either that or his name, like the, the name already, the word already existed probably and he just took it into his name, right? Um, anyway, I think, what I'm trying to get at is that I think that that name is probably something like Durthara. It's not like, ooh, just like a cool knowledge name, it's the burden of knowledge, the curse of knowledge, you know? But I could just be making things up. <laughs> no, I keep pressing wrong button. Wee. These plants are really beautiful. These ones are. Why is why is Solo look like the scream on that one? They're playing music that sounds like this sad music. Oh hi! More constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. I keep pressing them. We're getting closer. Um, no. Ah! Oh, what? Well, it hasn't triggered, so I can't. That one looks uh, very unfriendly. Ah. Uh. Oh, dang. Okay. Whoop. Ah, dang it. I tried to dodge, but I keep pressing jump. Uh, and we don't. I did see something about revives. Apparently, if you have revives, uh, your companions can come over and get you. Because they're. they're um, what's the word? They are um, mass affecting Dragon Age and making it so you can't. Pop over to a new, a new companion when you when you die. Jeez. Construct building. Her bow is really cool. I hope she tells me about it and about her like cool ability to apparently like suck things into like her uh, arm via like I don't know a bag of holding I think I might have to take these off okay I did want to see what it looked like this new armor oh yeah I'll keep this one off for a bit I like it Doesn't have to always be fancy elven armor, you know? Oops. I'm gonna put it on this one first. Since it's the one that no one's looking at. Is it like the, the yeah the blight's like bubbling too? Ugh. The plants no, they're dying. There has to be another one of those power crystals around here somewhere. 
Yeah, um, why, why am I here? Uh, up here? Uh, okay, explore the area and find the weak point. Oh, I, I thought Another I was... Ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. I thought I was gonna have to look, it was like, oh, look, search the area, and you can find the, like, origin point of the problem, or whatever, the ground just cleared up, too, a little bit. Um, can I break more of them? Okay. Um. Don't. Why? Why is it always breaking irreplaceable... You know, Elven. Like this is uh, this is needlessly destructive. I don't like it when any game makes me do this. They're like, ooh, wow, ancient. Like this is this is all of them forest. Like it's incredibly rare for anybody to be in here. Like this is some really well preserved stuff, and we're just breaking walls down. It's so frustrating. Like. I kind of hope Bioware had moved past that. I'm sure, I mean, the gaming industry hasn't, but like, I'd hope Bioware had moved past that as a mechanic. Alas. I mean. Oh, I was like, I, I already had the one there, but I needed to go. I put it over here. did it. All that's left is the Nautis Dirthalen. I have so many questions for it. Oh, which means we're not going to get any. Questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. I mean, we Okay, we have it. We haven't dealt with this before. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Um... I have dealt with this before, an, archi an archival spirit in Trespasser, but Rook and them have not. I say that the, the glowing, exploding panoply of visual stimuli when I pick something up is interesting, but I don't know how long that'll last. There's blight even here. This spirit. I wanted to get that jar. Spirit's not going to be doing well. Okay, here it is. The Nautis Dirthalen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back. <laughs> oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because dark spawn, demons, that and back. animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay. Where? Here we this go. This seems really poorly thought out. Nobody should be doing that. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. Then stop. Yeah. Oh, it's almost like it's. Oh, there's creepy. an ogre back there. There's an ogre back there. Less good. Oh, I 
tried to. Yikes! I did pretty well. Dang it. Where did I get these revives? Expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. <laughs> okay. Harding would like her. Let's see. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're like, uh. There we go. Ooh. Oh, no. that's good. I think. Oh. Uh, what does that crystal do? It looks so dumb. Keeps the artifact. I powered. love it. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Do not break. Oh, that worked out. Sulana, Vir Sulevana, and Asal Dirthara. Dirthara. Well then, I am the Nadas Dirthara. Right, a um, spirit. That's really I have cool. Questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What do you? Uh-oh. Where'd the spirit go? The Nodus Dothalan, I mean. It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken. Until I fix it. Of course. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. I couldn't get answers that easily. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veiljumper camp. I wonder, I, th I don't know if hers is a Valisleen or if it's just a, um, like a facial tattoo. Level four, ooh, I think I actually do get to unlock the Titan thing now. Oh, Bellara has skill points too. Companions! My companions now! Her bow. Attack my target applies shock versus fade touched enemies. I, my face. Ah. Um. Interesting. So if I actually direct them, does it act, does it like give a bonus, you know? Like a bonus to damage, or like a bonus thingamajig. I mean, I haven't- I don't know if I've seen her use that, or if I even saw it as an availability. But, uh, that's like, haste, you know? From the olden games. I've noticed in the recordings, I tilt my head this way a lot. Which then gives you guys a funny angle, so I'm trying to not do that. I haven't used those. Can cre creates a controlled tear. Sparing allies, thank you. Cool though. Snake's eye, commons, a scepter. Okay, so we're not doing a, like, a wand, <laughs> a scepter, that makes sense. For me. Stone. 
Oh yes, here we go. Titan Stomp. It applies Overwhelm. Which does... I read that one. It's... It's not telling me what Overwhelm means, but I did read it before. Additional Stagger. Exactly as Stagger doing. Pushes the target closer to the staggered state, which enables takedowns. If they're staggered, it prevents the target. So that, they're not like they're not like knocked over, but they're like they're like they stagger back, right? It's how I have always thought of it, but I didn't know exactly what it meant, like from a tactics, like from a mechanical, like specs point of view, right? Like what exactly am I triggering? Okay, hello. You have words for me? Ready to go? Oh, uh, not yet. Let's look around a little more. I thought I could just walk through myself, but apparently not. I know this is probably like way too much like headcanon potentially, but like I just I'm picturing not even my rook. This is hard having Solus in this game because I'm picturing how my Inquisitor would react to a lot of this stuff, not how I imagine a rook would be interacting with this stuff, which is an interesting conundrum to have. Usually the games don't have like a continuation like that where like the next the last character like shows up like definitively. Um that was a little smeared. <laughs> But I'm picturing here, like, and, like, I was, like, looking around, and I was, like, if I was the Inquisitor walking around, it would be, like, these are the halls that Solus walked so long ago. And, like, oh, yeah, it's, like, oh, you're being gooey about Solus, you know, like, being, like, oh, it's, the, it's that it's, like, um, you're being sentimental about Solus. But it's, like, wouldn't you, if, like, you knew that, like, a loved one that you knew almost nothing about but thought you knew, and then they had this whole other life, you know, and it's, like, you're, like, torn in half you're like you know you feel almost betrayed but it's not like they lied to you necessarily because you never asked hey are you the dread wolf you know what i mean um but it's just it's like you had this whole other life and like was the person you even told me like you were or that i thought you were through your actions is that who you are and it's like in many ways that's maybe a truer form of the person that this you know that any that a person is potentially in this situation in this situation it's soulless um, but yeah, I think I, I'm just like looking up at these walls and like looking at the what's left the remnants of this beautiful place and I'm like, like if it was my Inquisitor, she would be like, I'm, you know, not walking in the footsteps of Solus as in like, you know, oh, like, being like, oh, I miss him or something, but it would be that, but it would be also like, almost getting closer to the man he was before also like trying to trying to know him trying to walk in his footsteps you know trying to understand him i think that would be a struggle for her to try to like understand him not only to stop him but because she loves him right but it's a it's a combination of the two where it's like you know she needs to stop him but she also can't stop the fact that she loves him deeply you know what i mean uh so yeah I just think it's such a nice little like headcanon thing and I might have to write it down and maybe it, maybe I can explain it better to myself when I actually write it down but this is Rook walking through here so it's not the same vibe but I'd like to think that my Inquisitor at some point came to Alathan Forest and was searching for any clues that would lead her to Solus, you know? Who knows what she was doing? Ready to go? Apparently just telling Varric to go and talk to Solas and let it, letting that be the grand plan for stopping the end of the world as we know it. Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. I'm fading. <laughs> I'm fading. All new faded for her. <laughs> Hopefully Neve will be recovered. Ow. What happened to you guys? Eleven wounded. Sixteen oh. on bed rest. And some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Yeah, stuff exploded. Oh, I have an eyelash in my eye. Frick. Oh, Neve is still injured. <sighs> yep, 
Yeah, magic went wonky. That's what that's what they're dealing with right now. Jahel Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village. We're near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Dark spawn. They're showing up all oh, over that all too. Of them, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Dark Spawn too. Near the Nodis Dirthalan. Wait, you found the Nodis Dirthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods. Figure out their next move. I mean, the dealers should be able to take care of themselves. And I did know, I knew that. I mean, it says way back in the, way back in older lore that there are some Dalish out here, but they're not the kind of Dalish that would appreciate help necessarily. Although to be fair, the Veil Jumpers are mostly a, or at least I think mostly an elven group, or at least started by the elves, so maybe they'd be a little more trusted. Archive's broken, won't tell us anything. But that doesn't matter. Any Dalish settlements we can save, we should. So far, we've been lucky and arrived just in time. Given how fast these dark spawn are moving, it's only a matter of time till our luck runs out. Well, it hasn't run out yet, so let's stretch it until it breaks. Oh, wow, well, let's get ready for it. If we could predict where they'd strike next, we might get ahead of them. But so far, they've been unpredictable. Which leaves us with what? Demetta's crossing. What? Irlen and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four. I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small I boat like this in the guy. docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. He feels very, and like, luck. sergeant -y, you know? Like, dad of the squad, you know? I like him. Never thought I'd hear an elf with a southern accent-ish. Yeah. It is an ancient repository of elven knowledge. It'll probably give us, like, bits and pieces of knowledge as the game progresses, you know? Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. I was listening to the talking. Oh, I'm a merchant. Oh, merchant. I was like, I'm an ally, and then I saw merchant. Oh, sick. They've got people with canes. I mean, that makes sense, like, if you have injured walking around. But also, maybe they just have canes. Maybe they don't normally wear them, using them. They don't wear a cane, I guess. Ooh, she looks cool. Wow. I like her. Is this a wooden one? No way. We uh, I don't think we have really any wooden artifacts besides like beams of um elven origin. Holy cow, having wood decays way faster than anything. Like organic material decays faster than like inorganic like stone, right? That's crazy. A whole hollow statue. Merchant, I'm looking at the people. Oh, about to meet Oh, yeah. Fail jumpers have gone missing. Yep. Do we know why? Sure, it's cool. Someone will have to go out there and find out. She also looks nice. She has the problem, though, where she's using a belt to hold, like, one boob back, potentially. A lot hmm. of weird things lurking in the forest. You get faction points for... Oh, and you can rank up merchants and unlock new... Why do I have to do the work for you to be a better merchant? That doesn't make any sense. Wood? And... Oh, faction. That's probably faction points at the bottom. And... Is that wood or gold bars? What do you have? What? Is this an upgrade? Oh, I bet that's what the up is. 
current item will become. Ooh, she does have armor. Forest Guardian's Veil. Is this like saying, I think it's saying that like this would be good for, you know, me or Ballara or whatever, you know? But I need to have a better rating with the merchant. There's a citizen's outfit. Dailish? Minerathus citizen's outfit. Dailish. Cut in the sharp lines of popular Deventer fashion crafted in the Dailish style. What? Crazy. Mm, I guess I'll buy, um, I mean, it doesn't look expensive. I'm like slowly, slowly sliding down. Well, apparently this is where the veil jumpers get to hang out. Wow! We're losing too many veil jumpers as it is. Now Demeter's crossing. We need to get a handle on what's going on out there, and fast. Then maybe you guys should do something about that. Oh wait, that's my job. I love seeing the Aravels though. You guys see these? An inactive Illuvian. I must have to... Wow. Wow. This reminds me of Dinotopia. The, uh, I mean, in the books, but also in the, like, little short, like, TV series that they made. One of my favorite shows, one of my favorite book series growing up. This is stunning. This is everything I thought it would be. I I really love it. Yeah, I definitely taking some pictures here. Absolutely beautiful. Alatham Forest. It is it is even a little better intact than what we were seeing before in other places. the Arbor Wilds, that's where it was. The Arbor Wilds in the last game. Down south. And Ferelda. Uh, I am falling asleep. I think I might need to call it. I'm not going to be able to make it to the next one. But who's with Is Neve actually with... No? Okay. Can I... I wonder how I can... Maybe it's that big glowing, like, pillar? Where's it? Tell me what I need to know. Sanctum. Crossroads. The crossroads. I, I'm like calling it the in between. That is not what it is called. The crossroads. Current respawn location. Thanks. We can fast travel to. Oh, and there's stuff to discover. Whatever those symbols are, I do not know. A dread wolf. That was like a dread wolf thing and a mythol thing and like different kinds of treasure chests. Mythol has like a dragon. Appearance. Maybe it's a. Are there four dragons in Arlathan Forest? Not mythal things. It's dragons. But that one's a dog or a wolf. Oh, yeah, I am fading. Wow. <laughs> I am really enjoying this game, though. And I like. I think, again, I was like, oh, it's a little linear. And I do wish we could explore a little bit more of the worlds and that they weren't just like pretty skyboxes. But I will tell you. Baldur's Gate has been very overwhelming with how much there is to do, and I never know when to do what I'm supposed to do. Like, if there's a particular order that I'm supposed to do things in, or if there's, like, an ideal order, or, like, which maybe I just need, like, let it go, but, like, apparently there are, like, sort of, like, time quests, sort of, you know? And then it's, like, it feels like I really have to do the main mission, but I'm, like, it's Act 3, I don't want to do the main stuff yet, I want to do all the other things first, you know? But it's, like, is that a bad idea? Like, so it's a little overwhelming with how much there is to do, even if they're cool stuff. And the side quests in that game are really rich and full and really good. Um, so it's the main stuff, obviously. But, like, yeah, it's a little overwhelming to play. Um, so I am not, I am not be bothered if this game is a bit linear and maybe not so many 500 hours that I gotta put into each game, you know what I mean? So, anyway... Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut over now to my Patreon. Thank yous. 
Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it, and I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give another shout out to Sebastian James, who's also a sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for joining, my friend. I appreciate it. And I want to give a super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you so much, Christopher, for your support. I always appreciate it and all your comments. Thank you so much. And I want to give a shout out to Nightshade also. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you joining up. So thank you all again for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.